Hey Sagittarius, welcome to your April tarot reading. Thank you so much for clicking on the video. Sag, I'm so happy <laughs> to be finally doing your reading. Thank you for showing up week after week. There are so many new Sagittarius subscribers on the channel. Um, yeah, it makes me very, very happy. I love you guys. So thank you so much for your like, your subscribe your comments uh, it's very appreciated okay let's pick the general energy for sagittarius april 2023 i cannot believe we are in april guys i cannot believe it okay the five of wands okay so the five of wands has this bad reputation and i am here to <laughs> change your perspective i don't believe in negative or positive cards in the tarot the tarot is really a mirror of what it is to be a human you know what it is to navigate the world um and the human experience so Five of Wands is a challenge. It's very connected to the heart space. Very connected to the heart chakra, a fiery energy, which you are very comfortable with as a fire sign yourself. Um, there could be an inner battle happening around something that you love, something that you're passionate about. What I know is that you care. And that's why I love the Five of Wands so much. It's because it is a confirmation that we truly care for something or someone. That we are willing to fight for our beliefs, to fight for what we truly love and what we believe in, really. So, so much, so much. And it's important that we acknowledge that this is the card that comes before the Six of Wands, which is a major victory. So whatever you are fighting for this month, whatever inner battle you are experiencing, it will eventually lead you to a personal victory. So through uncomfortable times, through challenges around the heart space, you will be sooner than later celebrating something. So the Five of Wands, again, is a card that I absolutely love because I know it brings change. I know that, again, you care. You're passionate about something. You are alive. <laughs> you know, you are intense and fiery and maybe excited for something. I don't know. We'll see what the tarot has to say. But it's very important for me as a reader that we stop associating specific cards with negative things. Because this is not how tarot works. I, I don't believe it works that way. Um, there are too many layers to all the cards. Okay, so let's see what this is all about. What is the challenge this month? Okay, Page of Cups, Knight of Wands. So definitely a confirmation for me as a reader that the challenge this month for you can be around other people. How they treat you. Are they reciprocating the energy, the effort you're putting in? That could be a little bit annoying, you know. Um, it could be difficult, but I do feel like there is potential for growth. There is potential for you to reconnect with parts of yourself that are maybe sometimes hard to love. You know, with the Page of Cups, there's an invitation to not take any situation too seriously this month. Try to not get in your head too much about the little things, okay? The Page of Cups is inviting you to have fun, to play more, laugh more, and again, not take yourself too seriously. So... It's important that we remember that everyone is going through something right now. We are all trying to navigate this very uncertain time. Um, we just celebrated the new year astrologically, and that's a lot. That's a lot. Like energetically, there is so much to deal with. Uh, and depending on where you live in the world, season, 
art is changing. The season is uh, moving. And I've been thinking about that recently. You know, I was looking at my backyard last week and everything was gray. There was mud everywhere. There was bugs. It was, you know, it stinks. It was so weird. And I, I said to myself, like, how is it possible that in a month from now, there's going to be flowers everywhere. The colors are going to change. It's going to smell good. It's almost impossible right now to trust, to believe that things are going to bloom and flourish and that, you know, the energy is going to be better. And I feel like this is something that's happening for you right now. It could be hard to really show up in your relationship with confidence. It could be hard to stay positive right now. Like, when are things going to change? Why am I dealing with, you know, the same contractions, same challenges around the heart space? How can you make space in your heart? literally, to remember that better days are coming. Again, the season is going to change and things are going to flourish, even if it's very hard to picture that right now. I invite you to make space for joy, fun, celebration, and keep a little hope in your heart, you know? Look at that. <laughs> I just told you. I knew it. The moment I picked the five of wands... Um, I knew that the Six of Wands was very important. That's why I said this challenge brings a celebration. It brings a personal victory. So that tells me that you're not going to stay in the Five of Wands energy for long. That the month starts and you're already learning lessons. You're already challenged in ways that make you look at yourself in the mirror and say, okay, am I overreacting? Am I taking this situation too personally? Is this bigger than me? Um, there's going to be a lot of moments like that this month for you. Maybe having a conversation and someone is not listening. And you could feel very triggered in the moment. But at the end of the day, I don't think this is permanent. This um, contraction, again, it's not going to be permanent. It is helping you notice things about yourself. And um, again, it's really how you show up in those moments that is going to set the tone, I feel, for the rest of the month and the rest of the year, really. When someone is not listening, when someone is saying something that makes you triggered or whatever, it's not always about you. It's not always about us. And we tend to take things very personally. I noticed that recently. And <laughs> I noticed that in me, in the people I'm surrounded with. And every time, you know, I pick cards, I feel like there's some blockage around that. It's not that serious. And again, we're all trying to navigate the world. So this month is bringing you closer to the people that you love. By having conversation, by, again, noticing some type of pattern, noticing behavior. Look at that. The sun is here. I'm not surprised. The four of wands is here. A bunch of cards came through, and I'm all going to honor them. But look at that. I just said it. How can you make space right now in your heart for hope for the sun? How can you... Mm, attract this energy. Um, since the season is changing here, I've been waking up very early every morning and I take an hour to let the sun just uh, nourish me. It feels so good to really let the sun in. And that's literally, like I've been doing that literally, letting the sun in. But I feel like in the little moments, this is what you're learning to do this month. To let the sun in, to let, to let the beauty within you shine through when you interact with people and also 
maybe focusing on the positive aspects of things. And if you know me, I'm not a positive vibe only type of person. I don't like that. I feel like we need all the energy to, you know, practice balance in our life. It's not just about the good stuff. We need to talk about the bad stuff too. The good, the bad, the ugly, all of it. But this month, it feels like you are invited to practice gratitude as much as possible and to really notice the things that you have because your mind is going to go to that place of, okay, what am I missing? Why don't I feel like this person listens? Why don't I feel like the universe is reciprocating my energy? You're going to have to find that love, that care, that light, that support within you first. And that's a big challenge to say, okay, right now, I don't really feel like people are showing up for me. I don't really feel supported today. But you know what? I have me no matter what. So again, practicing gratitude, which I truly believe that gratitude is a practice. It's not just a switch that we turn on and off. It's like we have to practice. So any moments that you are thinking about that, think about how you are letting the sun in your life. Look at that. Ten of cups, which I associate a lot with gratitude, with happiness, because happiness is like a rainbow. When it's here, we have to enjoy it. It's not permanent. We don't just get to a happy place and stay there forever. We have to choose to be happy and we have to enjoy the happy moments, the little moments when they are here. Because just like a rainbow, it will go away. And it will come back, you know. And look at that. The sun is also here on the lover's card showing up for you. So this is, there's something important about the sun it could be literally, again, noticing the season change. Maybe you felt very connected to what I said about the season changing. It's all about your perspective. It's so important to be aware this month of the words that you're using, you know, and not stay in a victim mentality type of energy. Like, oh, why... Does it look so easy for other people? Why is it always so hard for me? And you know, it's okay to complain. And it's valid to feel that way once in a while. But you don't want to stay in that energy. So try to notice when your mind is going to that negative place. And maybe just catch yourself up. Again, it's a practice. Put a hand on your heart and say, I am safe in this moment. I am grateful for the roof over my head. I am grateful that I have me. I am grateful for the sun. I'm great, you know, whatever it is, I do feel like something is inviting you to choose happiness in the little moments, especially in the moments that are challenging in your relationship. Um, for the ones of you who are single, and of course, this is not a love reading. I don't do specific love readings, really. But I want to acknowledge that there is a focus maybe on love, communication online. I don't know if some of you have been uh, talking to someone online, but that could definitely be uh, happening for some of you. I feel like there's going to be focus on not only self-love, which is at the heart of this month for you, radical self-love, uh, but that's shining through. Again, the sun as center energy is too big. It, it's really about what's happening within and it's shining through. And I feel it's attracting either new love, it could be a new friendship, a new romantic partner, uh, even reconciliation. I do feel like there is something uh, very beautiful around a connection. There's going to be challenges around some relationship, but there's also going to be some wins, some victory, some meaningful conversation. Um, and I like that. 
the lover's card is the mirror energy. So every time I see this card, I know it's an invitation to give ourselves a little bit of credit. You know, sometimes it's so easy to look at other people, to compare ourselves and to say, oh, I wish I looked that way. I wish I was so talented. I wish that I could be in a relationship that was so special. Like we compare a lot, but sometimes we forget that when we love someone, when we are again looking at people and saying, wow, I wish I had that. It's because those people are reflecting like a mirror, the things that you have in you. That's why you're so attracted to them. So the lover's card, it really starts within. It is a confirmation that the beauty you see in others, it's a reflection of you. So give yourself that credit. Again, practice gratitude, awareness, um, and notice, you know, when you compare yourself. Because I think that this month, again, with some challenges that are going to happen in your relationship, what I feel it's nothing bad, really. Again, it's nothing negative. It is challenging because it is bringing you out of your comfort zone. It is bringing up a lot of question. And it is confronting you like facing a mirror. So through those moments, you will be learning so much about yourself. And again, really focus on the sun. I don't know why it's so important, but... You know, go look at the sun if you need. Um, you can even go read on all the, the amazing studies around like direct sun ex exposure. I've been obsessed with that recently. It's just so magical what the sun can do for us. And I feel like we've been afraid of the sun. Um, but it's, it's a big ally <laughs> for us humans. We need it. And also the symbol of the sun I don't know, drawing it somewhere, uh, maybe printing a picture of a sunset. I feel like the image of the sun is going to show up a lot this month for you. And that could be very meaningful. Okay. And we have the eight of wands. Okay, so again, there's something about communication and I, I just said that some of you could be talking to someone, getting to the next level of a relationship. You are transforming through every conversation that you're going to have this month. Every time you hear someone talking, every time you talk back, there is growth happening. And it's important that you're very careful with the words you're using. You know, especially if you are easily triggered by what others say, it's important that you have awareness around what you say and how it can trigger other people. This is all an exchange of energy. You know, number eight is like the infinity loop symbol. Everything that we say, it comes back. You know, it, it everything that we do and say is kind of a reflection of who we are. And I feel like this month is important too. It's calling us, sorry, to be more mindful of our interaction, how we show up in the world, the things that we say, and how it can impact other people. So that's why I say maybe choosing more positive words. And if you catch yourself focusing on the negative things, complaining for no reason, um, you know, take a step back, take a moment. And again, put a, place a hand on your heart. You're safe in this moment. You have yourself till the end, no matter what. You're not alone. I can guarantee you that you are not alone uh, if you're experiencing big waves of emotion uh, right now. So I'm going to take another tarot deck and I want to dive deeper. Um, what does a uh, not curious? What does Sagittarius need to know? We have the Seven of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, Seven of Swords in the reverse. Very interesting. The only sword card in the tarot that is yellow. Clarity of the mind. Okay, noticing that you are enough. You do enough. You work hard enough, and. 
celebrating that because the seven of swords is very connected to the feeling of not enoughness like oh i should do more i should work more i should be nicer i should be more like this person i should i should i should you know the shoulda coulda woulda how can you celebrate all the ways that you are showing up for yourself and others and really knowing that it's enough it is look at that eight of swords is here eight of swords is very connected to how we are transforming our mind, the way that we use our mind, the way that we let maybe our thoughts isolate us from others, um, how we let our mind, her thoughts, um, the thinking mind really control the things that we do and keeping us from saying yes to ourselves, saying yes to others. Um, enjoying life, again, enjoying the sun, quote unquote. And Eight of Swords is one of my favorite cards because I know that when it shows up in reading by experience, um, there's something that I am healing connected to my mind. Mental health, um, anxiety, stress, whatever it is. It's all about perspective. Because notice this person, yes. This person has a blindfold over their eye, uh, but they are free to go. Their mind, again, the swords, the mind, is keeping them from taking a step. There's water here on the floor. I don't want to get vulnerable. I don't want to cry. I'm scared of being hurt. I'm scared of being sad. I'm scared of being uncomfortable. The Eight of Swords says, my friend, yeah, you're going to have to walk in the water, you might spend the whole day with your feet wet, with your socks wet, and that's very uncomfortable, but you are free. So it's worth it to walk in the water, to get your feet wet, to get a little uncomfortable, to get vulnerable. It's worth it. You are stepping out of this mental prison. This month, and I see 22, 22 on the clock, by the way, as I'm recording this. So I love that. <laughs> I love that for you, Aquarius. Uh, something is changing about your perspective around your life, around you, maybe around happiness, around cycles, change. Um, and also it could be about a specific fight that you had with someone. That was an opportunity to grow, to, again, get your feet wet, to get vulnerable, step in the water. But your feet will dry. You're going to be totally fine. You are free to go. No one is going to take your freedom away, especially if you have good intentions. And it feels like with what I'm seeing, you've been fighting for a long time. You might had, have had to, you know, defend yourself in very difficult situation, situation of injustice maybe in the past. And now the cards are saying you're free to go. You're free to go. Everything's going to be okay. And I'm not saying that to sugarcoat. But it's true. This is what I'm getting here. Everything is going to be okay. Tell me more. Six of Wands again. So this card came up two times. And we have six, 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 which my friends, I guarantee you is not an evil number. Six, six, six is a very powerful angel number that speaks of reciprocity, good karma, Again, very connected to the mirror energy, soulmate in the mirror, and noticing the beauty in you. I like that. Again, I knew that the Six of Wands was very important for you when I picked the five. I knew that this was not a negative month. It was not a negative card. It is a little challenge that is bringing you to a victory, a personal victory. The Six of Wands is a lot about that. 
And it's going to be your job to celebrate yourself. I don't think the Six of Wands is about other people celebrating you. I think it's about you. It's a very, very personal um, reading here. There's going to be days where you feel like people don't understand you. There's going to be big ups and downs this month. Look at the general energy and the center energy. You're going to navigate this month with courage and keeping your head up. Knight of Wands is a very confident energy. I do feel again like um, it's important you remember on the more difficult days what it took for you to get here. How did you make it through the most challenging times of your life? And again, really working with that sun energy which is so important i cannot stop talking about it but it's true ten of swords page of pentacles and the ace of swords look at that beautiful storyline you are releasing the sun here on the horizon it's coming better days are coming seasons are changing this is like a cycle that is starting in your life, a new chapter, I would say a whole new book. And it all starts in your mind. It all starts with your perspective. And with the page of pentacles here, this is such a grounded energy. This is like double earth energy. And again, throughout this whole change, new perspective, transforming your mind, communicating, welcoming love in your life, welcoming the sun and victory and happiness in your life, practicing gratitude. That's all seeds you're planting. That will grow. And the day you plant the seed is not the day you eat the fruit. You know that. So patience definitely with yourself and with others is going to be required this whole month. I feel like, again, this is the heart of the challenge. Um, and giving yourself the opportunity to change your mind about someone or something. People change, not only you, we all change. And the Page of Pentacles, again, is like, how can you make sure you don't take this too seriously? It doesn't mean that it doesn't matter but it's not that serious. Again, we are all humans trying to navigate this world the best we can. And it's not easy. It's not easy. Let me pick some moon card for you. Um, I love I love that the sun is at the center of this reading. It makes me so happy for you, Sagittarius. Um, I said it before. I am very lucky to have, um, you know, Sagittarius people in my life. Um one of my favorite humans in the world um, is a Sagittarius. And she knows who she is. She's probably watching right now. Um, and yeah, I feel like, I don't feel, I know you guys deserve the best. And I know how you guys can give so much and sometimes feel like you're not getting Again, that reciprocity. This month, it's going to happen. Balance and peace is going to be restored as days go by. And it's, it's going to feel better. Better days are coming. The sun is on the horizon. So be patient with yourself and others. Oh, okay. We have double Scorpio energy. Scorpio is the sign of transformation. This is definitely a confirmation that what you are experiencing this month is a very powerful transformation, okay? Um, and I know that this is a word that a lot of tarot readers use in the spiritual world. We hear it all the time. When I personally, when I say the word transformation, I always picture in my mind the cocoon, the butterfly that's in the cocoon. It's almost ready to get out of there and it's going to have to be patient because when the butterfly gets out of the cocoon its wings are so wet 
It cannot just fly away like that. So again, you're going to have to be patient. A transformation doesn't happen overnight. And again, the day we plant the seed is not the day we eat the fruit. And I do feel like in your reading, there's not a lot of earth energy. There's the page of pentacles, but I don't see earth energy. So how can you ground yourself? Again, come back to the present moment, practice gratitude, focus on your body, your body wisdom. Try to really listen and be present in the you know, the best way you can be present. What does it mean for you to be present? Um, but definitely work with the earth, nature. Um, again, finding a ground in practice. Working around your values. Whatever it is. So, okay. I'm done, I'm done uh, <laughs> rambling here. It's time to release negativity and work through your fears. This is it. And it all starts with your perspective. And this is major water energy, okay? So again, this month, there's going to be a lot of moments where you want to take things so personally. There's going to be things that affect you. It could be watching TV and being affected by something and not understanding, like, why am I crying right now? Why does this hurt so much? It's because you're transforming, your soul is bringing up so much to the surface, everything that needs to be acknowledged, everything that needs to be, you know, address and not push away and ignore the good, the bad, the ugly. Balance is restoring. It's being restored this month for you, whatever balance means for you, which balance is not about perfection. You know, if you want to really find balance in your life you have to let yourself fuck up and i don't want to swear but it's the best way for me to tell you that you know we have to let ourselves make mistakes acknowledge the mistake and get back up and try again and this is how we find balance it's not seeking perfection perfection does not exist it's not balance to obsess over always doing the right thing so release negativity it's time and work through your fears if something makes you feel uncomfortable if something again feels like an inner battle feels like it is stressing you out scaring you all the negative scary feelings there's something there that you need to look at don't ignore it acknowledge it and ask yourself the good questions. Work through that. That's gonna. That's a big month. That's a very big month for you. But at the end of the day, the sun is at the heart of April for you. Always come back to that. Okay? Um, Sagittarius, you're amazing. I love you so much. I will do your bonus reading probably next week, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Let me know in the comments how you connect to this reading. And yeah, you can join me on Patreon if you want to learn more about how to read tarot in a more soulful way. And if you want to get more content, um, yeah, you can come join me there. I'm sending love, Sag.